We are now joined by number eight ranked UFC strawweight, Yan Shonan. Our first question goes to Gabriel Gonzalez with Kate Side Press. Hi, uh, Jan. My first question, how much did it help having the extra time after Claudia got hurt to prepare for this fight? So everything comes good at the end. Uh, Gives her more time to prepare for the fight. Can I ask you guys both to speak up just a little bit? Okay. Um. So she believes in everything. Everything good comes to the end, and uh, it, it gives her more time to prepare for this fight. That's it. Thank you. Uh, you're on a great win streak. Uh, Claudia is a big name. Is there extra emotion because you know this could be the fight that really pushes you forward in the strawweight division? So she didn't feel any actual emotions. And um, she feel like Claudia can can uh, can give her a good a big bigger victory, and um, it will prove how good she is. That's it. A lot of people feel like uh, she did not win her fight with Angela Hill. Uh, did did she think that Claudia won the fight? No one thought that Claudia and Angela Hill won the fight. But you think she won the fight? You watch the fight, and uh, it's a very close to it's a very close fight. Whoever whoever can win the fight. My final question: We hear a lot about how popular the current champion Wei Li Zhang is in China. She's a Yan is obviously from China herself. How big does she think a potential fight between her and Wei Li would be back home? Zhang Wei Li is a name that is very big in the United States and in China. Do you think, from a long term perspective, you two are going to be in China? Do you think it's going to be a big deal? I hope it will happen in China. I hope it will happen in China. I hope it will be a big deal in China. She thinks it's gonna be a big fight, and um, it, it's it's gonna be a fight everybody's watching back home, and also in the states. And um, John, I think he she's more like a champion than Wei Li. Can she describe what she means by that? So can you repeat your question? What do you mean by that? Uh, when she says that she feels she's a more champion than Wei Li, what does she mean? Uh, because Xiaonan is prettier. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. We'll take our next question from Jay Anderson with Kate Side Press. Thanks very much. And, uh, you know, welcome back. I wanted to ask one thing you haven't had yet is a finish in the UFC. Is it important to you to try and go out and get that statement finish? Um, she hope this this upcoming fight gonna um gonna end up, ended up in a finish finish win and um it's gonna prove her her fighting ability and everything and you haven't lost in the ufc you've got five straight wins but there hasn't been a lot of title talk about you do you feel overlooked at all 
现在这个你虽然连胜五场吧，但是呃，在 UFC 里边还还没有人就是说像你现在挑战冠军什么的，觉得他们有没有忽视你？觉得忽视我，忽视我真正的实力。希望我能抓住一个小机会，大家看到我，也看到我的努力。Do you think、um, her ability is kind of ignored, and、um, she think this fight is gonna gonna prove her finish ability, gonna gonna show everybody how good she is? And you know, if you do get into the title picture and you were to fight with、uh, Zhang Weilei, what would make you the fighter to defeat her?、Uh, 如果你赢这场比赛之后，就让你和张伟一打，对，你对张伟来说是有什么能让你战胜他？我觉得我最大的优势就是我是中国人，我更了解他的历史，就是我很了解他的。嗯，啊 ，She said because we all in China, uh, we all from China, and um, we all know each other. So that's also her her advantage because she she know her opponent better. All right. Well, thanks very much. Looking forward to the fight this weekend. Best of luck. That's all we have for you today, Yan. Thank you.